guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the other part of my thrift shopping recently. So I'll link the first video down below if you didn't watch that, which was all about the accessories I got. So the shoes, bags, belts, jackets. And uh, I did do quite well in that department as well. But today's video is the rest of the item. So as you can see, is a healthy looking rail. Um, I did get quite lucky the past few weeks um, and it's just trial and error. You know, go check out your local ones and just don't go with any expectations. And this goes for men, women, girls and boys. You can find things for everyone. It just depends, it's, it's just luck. You know, it's going there at the right time when someone's got rid of something that you would treasure. And I think it's just a lovely cycle of things. Like I give a lot to charity and I buy a lot from charity and it means you can kind of replenish your wardrobe or your decor in your house so easily and affordably. And it gives other people the opportunity to purchase the things that you, you know, weren't a fan of anymore or don't use or don't fit. And it just prevents it going into the landfill or the rubbish. And it's just such a sustainable way of enjoying clothes and enjoying things without having to buy new all the time. So I really recommend giving it a go, whether it's a charity shop, a thrift shop, or you know, a vintage shop, there's lots of different types, but they're all just a much more sustainable option compared to fast fashion. I know I'm being a hypocrite here because I am a fashion influencer half the time, but I'm trying to overlap my love for, you know, charity shops and sustainability and my career as a fashion influencer so that I can kind of be a bit more true to myself. But that's a deep topic that maybe I'll do some videos on in the future on where I'm at, you know, kind of crossing over that sustainability line and leaving the fast fashion behind. So I really recommend, you know, checking out your local shops around you, whether it's charity shop, thrift shops, vintage shops, they're all sustainable options. But that being said, let's jump into this video. So the first thing I got is this gorgeous kind of pinstripe waistcoat. Now, this one was one of those things that I, I wouldn't normally be drawn to, but for one pound I thought, oh, I'll take a risk with that because I think it could look really nice. And it's a female one, so it's, you know, nicely darted and it's just a size 10 marks as versus one. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna risk it for a pound and I am so glad I did. I'm just gonna throw this one on because it's just such a nice fitting waistcoat. So I've decided to just put each item on um, and talk about it that way because otherwise this video is going to take forever. But the first thing I got is this pinstriped waistcoat. Now I know it's quite a V-necked neckline, but I thought it's like a going out top, you know, like a, kind of like a classy night out outfit. So it's just a bit more dressy, but kind of like girls wear those blazers as outfits. I thought like a nice smart waistcoat to work as well. And it was literally a pound. So I took a risk with this one, but it fits so perfectly. I just love it. And the back of it is just bang on as well. So I cannot wait to like wear this one out, you know, with probably nice black jeans like this is how I'm envisioning it, but you can style it up many ways. I just loved it and it's got like pinstripes going down it. So I actually have pinstripe trousers. So I could probably make it look almost like a suit, but just like a bit more of a feminine, you know, clubbing outfit suit or going out outfit. I don't know, I love it. Now the next items I'm gonna show you, I'll show you the three shirts next. So I'll show you them quickly now and then I'll put them on. So you did see this one in a video a few weeks ago. Um, I was actually wearing it. So this was a recent find. It's just this gorgeous kind of emerald lace and gold detailing shirt, but like tucked into black skirts or black jeans. It is just so stylish. I love it. And I love the gold detailing. That's kind of what sold it. I just fell in love with it. Then I also got a red shirt. I'm really into my shirts at the moment. I think they're so smart, but so easy to wear. And I loved the color of this. It's kind of like a chiffon one. I just fell in love with it. And then this one was a very recent find, but how cool is this white shirt? Look at the detailing on the top of that. And it goes all down the sleeves as well. So I'll show you this, I'll show you them all on, but they're just so fun. So I'll throw these ones on now. So this is the red one and it's just so easy to wear. I can just tuck it in, I can tie it, I can wear it out as well. Like they're just outfits in themselves. So I just know if I put this on, you know, it's just a really nice piece in my wardrobe. And the unusual thing about this shirt is it doesn't actually have any buttons on the sleeves, but they're kind of the perfect length for me, so I think it works. But I always tend to tuck in my shirts, like, just a little bit, so they kind of just have that, you know, relaxed look about them. But I absolutely love this one. So this one is a little bit big for me to wear kind of just out of my um, jeans like this, but the, uh, the color and the mesh, I just love it because it's, it's see-through, but it's not see-through because of all the lace. So it's just a little bit more intriguing. And I think this one works quite nicely to tie into a top 
or again I could just tuck it in so I think it works really cute as like a cropped shirt like this because I love how the top part looks and the arms are a lovely length because I weirdly have long arms so for me like shirts and jackets can sometimes be a bit of a nuisance because they always come up short whereas this shirt you know it's a lovely length there's actually excess so it just feels like a really comfortable fit so I, I love this one and I think the detailing on it it just looks gorgeous because it even has like velvet so it's, it's lace, velvet, and gold buttons. Like, how lovely is that? I just think it's so cute. And here's the white one. Is this not the coolest white shirt you've ever seen? Look at the lace detailing in that. I've never seen something like this. My mum literally found it, like, just on one of the rails hidden because it doesn't actually have a size in it. So it's one of those that, because it doesn't have a size, it kind of gets lost anywhere on the rail. Um, and so it was actually amongst, like, quite large sizes. And she just found, she spotted, like, this fabric and thought it was really cool, but it actually fits me. You know, it's not humongous on me or anything like that. I've only tucked in the front, hence the back. But it's got, like, really nice darting. You know, it's got side dart, dart here. Honestly, it was just meant to be, like, I love the white shirt look with jeans, but I find, like, solid white shirts can be a little bit hard to style. I love them on other people, but when I wear them, I always just feel like I'm in a uniform. Um, and everyone tells me it doesn't look like that, but I just can't help it. Whereas this, this now feels like just a nice shirt. Although saying that, I feel like this look would be, like, a really fun kind of, like, classroom look if I was a teacher. I don't know, I just, it gives off that vibe where it's, you know, very respectable, but with you know, a little bit of fun with the kind of lace insert there. So I love this one. This is like one of my favorite finds, I think, so far. Well, actually, no, there's a few favorite finds, but I really, really love this one. Now I'm going to move on to the jumpers. So I'll show you them all first. Now I did quite well on jumpers. I kind of, I got all of these um, like one or two days apart from one another. So it was just a really good time for me. And they are from, they're from two different charity shops, but they just, they're lovely. And so I got three. Now I'll show you this one first. The colours are what sold me on this one. Look how vibrant they are. It's almost got like neons in it. I just fell in love with it. Like I really like my kind of oranges and browns at the moment. And I just thought this is such a fun jumper. And it's actually really, really old Dorothy Perkins. I've never seen the label look like that. <laughs> So you can see there. So I just had to, I had to have that just to wear with leggings around the house or jeans. I thought it was just so fun. Then the next one I got is this gorgeous kind of very light mustard one. Now I would never in a million years think I could pull off this color. And actually, really sorry Jodie if you're watching this. You guys know her as Just Ginger. Um, I actually bought this for her from um, one of my favorite charity shops. And I actually, I got it home and it needed a little bit of fixing. And once we fixed it, I tried it on just to get an idea of the fit and um, I decided to keep it. So I apologize if you're watching, but it's just so lovely. And it's a really, really velvety wool or like um, whatever this is, knit. Um, it's just so soft and it's like a turtleneck. It is a bit oversized, but I love oversized jumpers with leggings at the moment. So I just fell in love with that. And then the final one I got, this one gives me kind of like skiing vibes with the like way the pattern kind of drapes over like that. And it was actually really ironic. I was watching like a program and one of the actors in it had a jumper on like this. And I was like, oh, I really like that kind of, you know, rounded effect of the pattern across the chest and shoulders. And I thought to myself, oh, I'd like one of those. Next day, went to a charity shop, found one for a pound. It was like just meant to be. It was fate. But I absolutely love the colour scheme of this. It's kind of like grey-white with a little bit of goldy brown on it, which I just think is absolutely lovely. So, yeah, three very nice jumpers, but I'll pop them all on for you now. So here is the first one, and as you can see, it's just such a cute, like, winter vibe. The only thing I would say, it does just bunch up a tiny bit here above my kind of chest. I think it just... You can see that it kind of just pings up, but I don't think it shows. And I love the kind of style of it. And again, one pound. I mean, I, I have nothing to say apart from that I love it. I just think it looks really nice, for example, with these jeans. Or I can kind of crop it a little bit or do the like tuck it into the bra trick. Because I love the top detailing and I love that it's a turtleneck. I just think, how cute is that? I love it, especially for now, you know, it's kind of that crossover temperature where it's not freezing, but you need nice jumpers. These are gonna be perfect. So that's this one. Trying to get these jumpers over my hair and makeup without messing it up is next to impossible. So you're welcome. <laughs> you should see the kind of like maneuvers I've been trying to do to get these turtlenecks over. But that's how this one looks. 
it's just a really like pale kind of color that I wouldn't normally go for but I actually think it's really cute like I just really love it and it is so soft like I I cannot explain to you how soft this kind of wool is it is just it's like a velvet but like softer <laughs> that's how I would explain it but you can just I, I might just style it like this it's just like an oversized jumper or it's kind of cute to like maybe crop a little bit I don't know but it's just really nice to lounge in whilst I'm doing my studying or just to wear around the house it's just oh, it's so lovely and it's so soft and I love the kind of pattern down the front it's just a typical like knit jumper but in such a soft like wool it's just amazing I love this one aren't the colors in this one just amazing like they're so bright I just fell in love with the kind of pattern of this one and it goes with so much because there's actually so many colours within this jumper so it's just a really fun one to wear and I love wearing colour in winter, you know I don't want everything to just be like dark, I want some like colourful pieces that are also warm and I think this one that ticks that box so I am obsessed with this one, I just think it's so cute. So that's all I got for you guys today, thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe if you did, I'll also link all my social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there, along with my other channel if you'd like to learn about all things rocks, geology and earth science because that's the other side of my life, but that's M Gems. but the link will be down below if you'd like to check it out. Hopefully I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.